right, so this is about a week and a half before the night of the exhibition, and at this point I had it been over five years since I had driven the track, so I wanted to get in a few practice laps, which is what I'm, I'm doing here. And now I was trying a few different sizes of tires, and in this clip I was running a fairly small tire, and I was running third gear, but you'll see how much I was having to clutch dump and just being really hard on the driveline. It just wasn't spinning it in third gear like it had spun it in third gear at some other tracks. So I wound up having to go with a tire that was bigger than this, but smaller than what I wanted to run, and run it in second gear, which meant the car was on the limiter a lot, as you'll see. It was at this moment that I knew I screwed up because despite all the careful planning that led up to this moment, I had forgotten to put any heat into the handbrake, which made for an entry that was kind of boring to watch and a bit sketchy for me, but I made it work. So it's pretty hard to hear me in the video, 
But basically, I'm just promoting local drifting, North Carolina drifting. So Piedmont Drift, which is out of Piedmont Dragway, and then MB or Myrtle Beach Drift, which is out of Rockingham Speedway, and then CMD, which is Catch My Drift, which is just kind of up and down the southeast. And I'll have links in the description for all of those. And then one more thing about drifting, in case you're in the audience that night or you're unfamiliar with it, is that as awesome as it is to spectate motorsports, one kind of unique thing about drifting is that most events will allow you to do ride-alongs with drivers so you get to experience the action firsthand.